We're back. I'm Norman with Stock Spaldy, <clears throat> Bare Bones Network. Thank you, YouTube, for the assistance. I'm only the one responsible, and I'm, of course, I'm not. No one else is responsible for anything I say or do. I'll try to keep it somewhat mannerly, well, that's of course. I will bring up subjects that tradition hates in my guts for saying these things because it celebrates something quite uncelebrating. I would like to remind you of something. Creation is a did. This is creation. This is creation. This is the planet EAR, Prince ETH. You're a mammal, or the surface, I call the rudder of the surface of the planet. You have the wits. You and bacteria have wit here. Cast dispersion. You're the water buffalo and bacteria are the lion. Yes, only you. As far as I'm concerned, you win. You're an absolute immunity. Bacteria really isn't. It doesn't even understand immunity. You do. You travel with your planet doing things simultaneously like children riding a skateboard through the cosmos <clears throat> with your planet. Through this cosmos, this planet rides, changes timing, and like a blowfish blasts through with timing, not with fuel and thrust. Wishing Alice doesn't know a damn thing about. Now, because of that state, did, it's deja vu. Everything here is back up and remember more. It's already done. So, as a human, you back up and remember more. About your own life, you steer the ship from the rear. Citizen steers the ship. None of the above on the ballot. Citizen steers the rudder. Citizen turns the rudder. None of the above. Citizen turns the rudder. None of the above. When none of the above wins the election, you have another election. You have more conversation, more conversation. More conversation turns the rudder on the ship. Steers from the rear. Do you understand me? Get none of the above on the ballot everywhere on this planet. Do not have one more election without making them all run against the word no. Do you understand me? Now, they never run against each other again. Wonder what's wrong. Huh, look at this. Phonier the day is long. It's set up phony, idiot. <coughs> Pardon my French. Now then. For me, I... Reminisce in my mind and let it happen. And when I do, oftentimes I have asked, I get on my face in my prayer posture and talk to my maker and ask for an explanation of what's going on here. Listen, I, I've been bred to adornment. I don't know if everyone has. I have. I'm Jewish, only I date that. Humans had more experience in breeding each other long before any Jewish or slavery or any term you have right now or any practice you have or you remember having. It's just when humans lived in family pods. <laughs> Here I am itching on the air. <laughs> when humans lived in family pods, they bred each other to adornment. Far more, and I've been bred to adornment though, even through slavery long before these Titles and names and places and dreams. When humans really had dreams. Now humans are suffering lifestyles from dreams that are fragment compared to your ancestry. As far as I'm concerned, your ancestry dreams still live on recall within you. And when I speak to some human beings, I can see the lights come on. So, genetics is still well with you as a creature, big time. And I speak to you that, that way. And I speak because of a speech pre-written in everyone's DNA to hear that echo of information and respond. Like elk bellowing in the forest. And that's how I speak to you. And you overhear those sounds and know those trumpets. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. Because of the position I remind you of in your wits, in your mind, and I speak to your wits as a human. Yes, I do. And that's what I do. I'm the king of the Jews. It's my job, and I've been called. You're called the wolf, and here's the wolf. And it comes from sources with your God and your maker in ways you know good and well. It's not what you suspect. Ever. When you call wolf, is the wolf going to come through the door you expect? Huh? 
I mean, you've been yelling wolf a long time here. Well, wolf ain't going to show up in the image you expect. Huh? No way. Don't look for that. Because your whole posture and yourself, you really don't want the wolf to show. And yet you've been yelling wolf. Well, that ain't what you're asking. That ain't what you're going to, where you have a vision in your mind to see it. You want tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> oh, the Lord has something else to remind you of something a little more than tall, dark, and handsome, even though as far as I'm concerned, even though I, one time, of course, was very tall, dark, and handsome, and never mind the history that eroded that. The, the issue is that the wits of tall, dark, and handsome hasn't gone through the Oh, the back, pushing back to the back of the line that you have to experience. Even though my genetic defect did that to me originally, the societies have done this to me just through employment's natural friction of picking who they want on their team. You end up in the back of the line when you look like the banjo player in the movie Deliverance. And so experiencing that... It gives you a dimension what to speak to when you address the priceless aspects of humans and the need of correction of some of their traditional mistakes. Do you understand me? Now, this has been my experience though long before any experience in this living that I've gone through. When I overhear my genetics and I've talked to my maker about them, I remember human beings in my past going through those experiences. And I deja vu on them all the time. I reminisce other people's lives in my life, and I am not reincarnated at all. It's their life is still echoing within my DNA and my genetics, and I overhear it. <laughs> Simple as that. I hope you get to have the same experience in your life. If you still speak to the Lord in prayer, possibly you can. I do all the time. And I'll tell you, it, it, it pushes me forward because that's all I know what to do. That's all I do do. And even though I've been pushed backwards, that's still all I do, and I'll do it before I die, and that's why I'm here right now. And thank you very much. Norman Whitstock Spalding, calling you to a back up and remember more philosophy in everything you do. And you'll find out it's, life is really has a, a lot nicer mood to it for you. Certainly you live in a nicer mood. You back up and remember more. Mm-hmm. About everything. You, your grudge, you're going to have a hard time living up your grudge now. You're going to have duty. You'll see so many people that you really see on the way. You don't have time for your grudge. You back up and remember more. You don't have time for it. Too many people need you in your position and your capabilities right now. You don't have time for grudge. I'll be back. Norman with Sucks Balding. Bare Bones Network. Bye-bye.